I've been doing a lot of these kinds of videos lately. Actually, that's not that's not true. I haven't been doing any videos lately. But the videos that I do upload have been a lot of the Steam kind of videos here. I, I noticed the other day that there are a lot more random Steam key packs on this website than I originally had thought. Like there's the five packs and the 10 packs and people generally use these to get playing cards on Steam so they can level up their account. However, I use them because I have absolutely no standard of living and I really, really just like putting myself through hell every single time I record one of these videos. Thank you guys for that. Thank you. Thank you for making this the, the best series on my channel. Thank you. Anyways, today I thought I'd go over some of the other random Steam key packs that the website has to offer. So we are going to be out here today purchasing these and uh, hoping for the best. So our grand total for this purchase today is going to be $14.36. Now that is a lot more than I normally spend on videos like this. I usually spend about $5. And you know what? $5, that's a lot of money in today's day and age. Okay. $15, that's a lot lot more money okay for five dollars you can buy a few candy bars at like a grocery store but for fifteen dollars you could buy like a brand new used ds game from gamestop okay like this is a lot of money so while i cash out with a subway gift card like i normally do i'd like you guys to consider leaving a thumbs up on this video not for the sake of my wallet but for the sake of reused, rehash, overdone content, thank you so much for enjoying my channel. <laughs> Activate Windows. So I bought four separate more expensive packs as opposed to buying one cheap group package, and the results are stunning. I do have to say, man, this Layers of Fear game just looks phenomenal. The way that the light cascades off of her beautiful rotting flesh just... Oh man, I fucking hate myself. These are the games that we were given today. These are the games that I am gonna stick with. And I have to say, I'm a little bit underwhelmed, but in a good way. These games don't actually look that bad today, unless they're all search and find games. This Layers of Fear game might be a search and find game with some jump scares, but we'll have to find out. Anyways, we're gonna start out with Weird World's Return to Infinite Space. That is a mouthful. Kicking it off out here, we got a weird ass alien that is definitely gonna end up being in the thumbnail today because that is just, that is too perfect to pass up. This game does have a tutorial mode, but naturally I'm I'm not gonna do the tutorial because I just don't care about anything. So we start out with a nice little map. This is like an interactive board game kind of thing it seems. We have little like squares and we can engage with planets. <laughs> I'm gonna just send myself right into this black hole right here. I don't give a hoot, dude. Fuck it. Kill me, please. Hey, ya yi, baby. We out of here. The Nautilus is inexorably drawn into a black hole. My adventure score is negative 2,000. Bro, I think I made it. I love these weird little clip art aliens, too. This game is really great. All right, let's stay away from the black holes this time. Let's just engage Haze. I don't really know how this works. Like, as far as... Uh, this just seems like it's kind of like a board game. Is that country music? Why is it, it just played some carry under, why? I'm gonna engage these aliens, I guess. Yeah, we out here attacking. Yeah, baby, let's get, oh. Well, they, they killed me pretty quick. That was, all right. My score is negative 436. I really need to start reading tutorials. Weird Worlds will run you back $5 if you want to download it. It's a turn-based roguelike strategy game, and you get, like, random planets every time. There's a lot more depth to it than I alluded to in my brief playthrough of this game. This kind of player experience isn't really something that I can commentate over. That's why I didn't show that much of it, but it's really not a bad game. If you're into, like, strategy, roguelike, dungeon-crawling kind of games, I think this might be right up your alley. My only recommendation is that you do probably play the tutorial because I don't play any tutorials ever and that's probably why I have such a hard time doing anything when I play these games. <laughs> Next up we have The Darkness 2. I'm just gonna go right from left so I can end it with this beautiful zombie woman. <laughs> Activate Windows. This game is called The Darkness 2. It's got you it's got to be a good game because it's the second in the series. Like you can't make a sequel for anything that's not good. Watch previously on The Darkness. Is that like a tutorial cuz I'm not doing that. Hey. Hi, hi Vinny. Oh, I was about to say hey Vinny. That is what? His name is actually Vinny. Bro, I'm shook. <laughs> I'm about to sit down with two beautiful French women, but I promise you this whole scene is going to end with a shootout. Hi, Jackie. Remember us from the Candy Club? Well, do you? Sure he does. I don't remember you. <laughs> hey, the shootout. I called that. You got blood on your titty there, mama. Oh, there we go. We all dead. She's got a little something on her eye, dog. 
Excuse me. Excuse me. Please stop doing that. Please stop. Don't shoot at me. Thank you. I'm not really sure what's going on here. I'm crawling towards the leper? Praise the diabolous jerky. Let's release it. What does this mean? What is this darkness? Okay. Am I flying? What the fuck is going? What is going on? My arms just turned into snakes. What? Hey, Vinny, how you doing, Vinny? You see that? You see my restaurant there? That's I spent my whole life trying to make that restaurant. We had pizza and lasagna, and you fucked it all up, Vinny. See, I can't let that slide, Vinny. You gotta understand, man. Vinny, you wild, Vinny. You wild out here, Vinny. You ready? You ready for this? You ready for this? Trick shot on Vinny. Sucks to... What the... Hey, Vinny. Catch this, Vinny. Idiot. Excuse me. Ex sir. I have to let you know I'm extremely armed and extremely dangerous, and I have to ask that you don't swing that baseball bat in my direction. Please, if you swing it again, I'm gonna have to take affirmative action, sir. Put no, 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 this is not... Alright, you look like a fucking... My, my, my bad. Sorry. Oh, that was my mistake. Yeah, now you're just a bloody leg. What you gonna do, brother? I believe I can fly. I believe I can touch the sky. I think about it every night and day. Spread my wings and fly away. I believe I can soar. <laughs> so in the darkness too, you are a weird tentacle mobster dude, and you, you basically just go around killing people trying to avenge your girlfriend, I think? I'm really not sure. Either way, everybody that you kill awards you with points, and you can spend those points on upgrading your skill tree. Now, the more skills you have, the better of a weird satanic fighter you are. I... I I don't really understand this game that well, to be completely honest with you guys. Once I started playing this game and I saw the art style and the weird demon tentacle things, I did remember seeing trailers for this game quite a while ago, uh, so I believe that this is actually like a AAA title. And as you can see just by the gameplay that I'm showing you as I'm talking, it's a very fast-paced and very, very violent game. The only thing I did notice is that there was some mechanical issues with some of the AI, like this little goblin thing just kind of got stuck on vans sometime. Shooting him in the face seemed to do the trick, but, you know, that, that's not always a permanent fix to your problem. One of the more tedious aspects of this game that I found is that you constantly have to be in the dark to use your abilities. And now, this wouldn't be a big issue if you could still function in the game while it was light out. However, if you're standing under a light, your tentacles go away and then your whole screen goes white progressively until you restart at a checkpoint. And I find that very annoying because you constantly have to shoot out lights just to get through the game. While I don't mind the system itself, I feel like there was a much more fluid way that they could have gone about introducing the concept to the game, and it just kind of slowed down gameplay at certain points. It's an older title, and some mechanics haven't held up the best over the years, but, I mean, it was a huge, huge game release when it came out, so, I, you know, I, I don't think that there's really much I can say about it that hasn't already been said. Also, this happened, and it made me wildly uncomfortable, so I don't want to play this anymore. I guess in closing for this, uh, the game will run you back 30 bucks if you want to buy it. It came out in 2012. It's your call. I would wait for it to go on sale, personally. But from the brief time I played it, it really doesn't seem like a bad experience. Anyways, now it is time to party hard. I gotta say, I'm, I'm a little bit disappointed today at, at how good these games are. Like, we're on the third game now, and even this game does not seem like it's gonna be horrible. I mean, a game like Party Hard, I'm not really sure mechanically what this game is gonna be about. Never mind, I'm killing people. Use E to kill while no one is watching. Certainly wouldn't want to use E to kill while somebody was watching me. Fucking kidding me? Do you literally just kill people in this game? Is that the whole purpose of the game? Is just murdering people? Are you fucking kidding me? You literally kill people and then you party hard. That is that is why this game is called Party Hard. What the fuck? I don't know if I'm comfortable with this, man, to be completely honest with you. I have to kill 47 people, are you serious? The last level had four. <laughs> Way to really ease you into it, man. I don't even know how to go about this. There's so many people. Uh, what? I guess the exterminators will take care of it for me. They just killed like four people. This is absolutely chaos, bro. I just burned down the stoner den. <laughs> This is another one of those games that it doesn't really seem like there's a lot to talk about in. It's just kind of like a walking through, killing everybody kind of game. Oh no, oh no, why can't I get out? Why can't I get out? No, 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 let me out, let me out, let me out. Oh my God, oh my God, no! Are you kidding me? I had, I had five more people to kill. I had five more people, five more, and I got arrested. Jesus Christ. I'm gonna try this one more time, and if I can't get this, I'm done, bro. Is that a horse? Let's frighten the horse. Oh, the horse just fucking killed me. All right, we're done here. Party Hard comes in at a very weird $12.89, and it's 
It's like an 8-bit puzzle game. Basically, you murder everybody in a scene and then you party hard. That's literally all there is to this game. Next game. Baby, this is the one I was waiting for. I am so, so excited. I, I really, I'm about to paint a Picasso, baby. I just want to let you guys know right now, I am the best painter in the entire world. As you can see, that is me. That is my face reveal. I painted that in third grade. Activate windows. I don't know if this is a horror game or a puzzle game. I'm gonna skip this cutscene because I don't even want to know. I'm thinking that it's like Microsoft Paint meets Halloween. Like it's gonna be a little bit spooky, but not too spooky. Just like my, my Halloween jack-o'-lanterns, you know? Oh yeah, that's a spooky jack-o'-lantern. <laughs> what a spooky jack-o'-lantern, bro, holy shit. So the game dropped me in a house and uh, it's an empty room with nothing but coats and a couple pictures. We got some child's shoes, it looks like. The part that's disturbing to me and the thing that makes me think this is a horror game is not the fact that I'm in a big abandoned house, but it's the fact that there's this picture on the wall of a little baby being carried away by what looks like a giant eagle or a hawk or something. But that's not even the worst part. Okay, this kid is naked and he, he, that's still not even the worst part. This kid is peeing. Okay, I'm gonna blur this out the best I can, but like, see this little line right here going down? That's pee. This kid's peeing. He's so scared he's just peeing himself while this bird carries him away. That's the that's the way I want to go out. So it seems like we're just walking around. I have a feeling this is going to be a horror game, like just a, a true and true kind of horror game. Is that blood? No, that's that's paint, bro. This Is this the art gallery? I didn't touch the workshop. This is my art gallery. Why is this locked? I bet if I go up to my bedroom, the key will be sitting on a table. You ready? You ready? I know exactly how these game works, bro. I'm the best. All right, where's which one's my bedroom? I bet you that one's my bedroom. I bet you it's... I bet... I bet, it, I bet it's that one that's my bedroom. Yeah, this is definitely not my room. This is a woman's carpet. See, this is where my wife would have lived. Uh, we sleep in separate beds because we, we we don't love each other anymore. Check this out. I'm going to play Africa by Toto. Did you like it? It seems that I was wrong, man. It seems that I was, I was sorely mistaken, okay? It looks like the key is right here. This is going to be on my desk in my library instead it's just me in my house all alone with my paintings and hairy wolf baby man <laughs> either way i promise you that the key i just found goes to the art gallery so i'm just gonna go right down there we're, we're not gonna waste any time with any of these other rooms nothing important in there probably what is with all the weird children paintings bro like what is this is that a very small fully grown man or is that a very fully grown small baby i don't you ready you ready watch this unlock yeah, I was right, bitch. The only thing scary about this game so far is the fact that all of these paintbrushes are all broken up and just in a bucket. Like, who who does this with your paintbrushes? We got more paintbrushes. We have alcohol. Seems that my man here liked to uh, like to get his drink on while he painted some pictures. How much you want to bet there's gonna be a creepy woman in this picture? You ready? Ah, I was wrong. It's just a red blob. I don't know what the point of that shit was. This is not the way that I came in. Is this the same house? I, I finally understand what's going on here. We're getting psychologically spooked out. Yeah, this is also different. I think every door I go through is just gonna be different. I bet you anything that a door is gonna pop up right here. There ain't even nothing scary about this game. Is that a baby? Oh. Okay, trap door. What's up? It's George Washington. You want a balloon, Georgie? Oh, 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 oh. Oh. Uh, okay. Georgie does not want a balloon. Let's let's keep it moving. I'm not really sure how much I fuck with this game, to be honest. I'm not a big fan of the horror genre as a whole, but this just seems like a lot of running around with not a lot of purpose. Another dead baby. Another George Washington. Looks like Jack Black mixed with Jack Douglas. Oh. Uh, right. Now it's just his hand. Oh my god! Did I actually just let myself get jump scared by some fucking books? Did... Some books. Layers of Fear is a $19.99 game. It's like a psychological horror kind of game, but honestly, I didn't really see the point in it. I feel like conceptually it's a cool idea, but it's just not really my genre, so I don't really want to speak on the manner of it, but if you guys want to check it out for yourself, just go look up like actual reviews of it or something. I don't fucking know. I gotta say, all in all, I'm kind of disappointed with today's video. I, I was really hoping for some worse titles. I, I take stride in the fact that I upload very mediocre content, and when all the, all the games are good, 
that's not really mediocre, that's just kind of okay content. You gotta keep it mediocre, boys. That's all I'm gonna say. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure to activate Windows and leave a like on this video. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Don't do drugs, stay in school, and I will see you guys in the next one.